There are certain signs that a woman should not ignore if she wants a, a real man, a masculine man, an alpha man. And if you're part of my tribe, then the truth is, is that you desire this type of man because you want to be tame. You got to admit that you want to be tamed. And I know this because you want a man who can handle a woman like you. So I'm just going to go right into it with four, um, four red flags that the discerning woman should not ignore. Okay. The alluring woman should not, should not ignore. And these aren't things that I don't think that you, maybe you have heard about these things before. Maybe you have, maybe you haven't. Cause these aren't like, Oh, the man who doesn't pay his bills. Oh, the man who doesn't argue with his mom. Like all of that is important. Don't get me wrong. All of that is important. And to be honest, I'm just going to share the things that these were really important to me. Okay. If there are things in, in this uh, list is not exhausted at all, there are things that you have to put on it that you find really important for you. So, you know, separate the good from the bad and adhere to what's good. And I'm just going to jump right into it. So number one is that here's a red flag is, is that if he's on social media a lot, or just the internet period, unless he's making money, selling stuff on eBay, interacting with clients or, or whatnot. That is a red flag because a man who's just like, oh my phone, I'm using it like, if he's just on his phone scrolling, you're out about, you know, you're in a, a social setting, he's just scrolling through his phone. He's totally distracted, which means that he's not on his mission, which means that he is not in his purpose, which means that he's constantly going to be seeking. So a man who is easily distracted from his mission, from his purpose, is is not operating in his purpose. What that means for you in terms of dating and relationships is that there's going to be this sense of inadequacy, and that can show up and manifest in so many different ways. So that could be um, wanting to fulfill that void with other women, uh, you know, reckless casual sex, drinking, um maybe even lashing out on the woman in his life, like so many different, so many different ways that this can really come out. Um, not wanting, like not able to support you and, and foster and bolster your beauty, your strength, and really your potential because he's not in his own. And really it becomes an identity issue, uh, sometimes even an identity crisis for men. So number one is that if he is on the internet, if he's just like just scrolling through social media, just mindlessly, aimlessly, he is totally distracted, which is a red flag. Okay. That's number one. Number two, he only dates younger women. So if you are a woman and you're dating someone, you're dating an older man, cause I I've dated older men when I was younger. And when I say older for me, you know, I think 12 years was the max, like the max. Um, and I remember when I really got serious, I was like, you know, I don't want to date anyone that older. Um, my father passed away when he was 50 years old. And at that same time, a lot of men, when they turn 50, it just becomes, uh, you really have to be more concerned and aware about your health. And because women generally live longer than men, I was like, I want my men to be around. So seven years was my max. John has already said familiar, no more than four years. But here's why there are a lot of men. Oh, here's why I'm saying this. When I was younger, I was dating a man who was 10 years older than me. And he only dated women who were younger. He didn't want any woman, you know, within his age range. And I, you know, he would say things like, Oh, there's just so much baggage. This is and that, that, and that, and this. Um, and I have a video on how you can become more attractive. Um, so that you, even if you, you know, 35, 36, 30s, 40s, 50s, however old you are, that you can still show up with a spirit of, uh, playfulness and light and just this sort of fun energy, because that is really important, not only for dating purposes, but just for your own feminine spirit. But here's why I say that there, the red flag in, in that is that generally there is a sense or a feeling of inadequacy. If a man only wants to date a younger woman because she appeals to him more, like physically she may appeal to him more, sure, she may be fun and light, sure. Oftentimes there's this desire to really mold a woman and there's no shame in that. There's no shame in a woman wanting to be molded by a man or really wanting uh, maybe a father figure or having some sort of provision in her life, like wanting that structure. This is what it's about, really wanting that structure. But for a man who really goes after the younger woman or even, you know, vice versa, he only dates older women, that becomes maybe even some other issues. But if he is only going after the younger woman, there's some sort of process, some sort of hazing, some sort of inadequacy um, within that man. This is just my pure, pure speculation. Okay. This is not fact. <laughs> this is my pure speculation. If you happen to disagree with this. Um, yeah, there's, there's definitely just some feeling of inadequacy and I'm, I'm trying to see if I can really even put more formula to this more like substance. Um, 
that's it. It's more of an inadequacy, not compare, like not, not comparing, not feeling again, off purpose. Okay. So just be mindful of that. If you are a, a younger woman who's dating older man and he only dates younger women, be mindful. I had a girlfriend who was dating a guy and he even told one of my, my boyfriend at the time that, you know, he only dates the men in his life told him to date eight years, like eight years and younger or something like that. So just be, be mindful of that. The third thing, oh my gosh, this is major. The third red flag is if he argues with women, period. <laughs> if any man who argues with women is, it lacks control. Again, he's out of his purpose. He's not masculine. He's not alpha. And for women, you know, we kind of, we kind of, you know, we, we have this thing where we, we reel men in. And I think about one of the reasons why I married my husband and again, because I wanted, I wanted a man who can handle a woman like me and he didn't take my stuff. Like he passed all my tests and I really didn't realize that I was testing him. Um, but he just didn't take my stuff. And a lot of times that made me feel exposed and made me really uncomfortable. And at the same time, this is what I knew that I desired because he was controlled. He lacked that. He had control. Okay. So that's number three. If a man is arguing with women, if he out here trolling on the internet, done, done, done. And the last thing is that he lacks consistency. This is a red flag if he lacks consistency. And when I'm meaning lacking consistency, inconsistent in terms of how he's calling you and things like that. But what I'm really focusing on is, is he who he says that he is? This is why it's really important to do group dates, to go out and be social, to, um, you know, bring your man around friends and like have group dates to see how this man interacts around other people. If he is, you know, out and about and maybe he only does one drink with you, one or two drinks with you, but out and about in a group setting, he's doing four, five, six, seven and getting sloppy drunk. He's inconsistent. And again, he's off purpose. He's off his mission. Okay. So, um, that, that's all I got for you today. Right. Just follow these four things that I said. Number one, red flag. Number one is that social media, mindless Internet dating, not Internet dating, mindless Internet. Browsing, perusing. Number two, only dates younger women and or only dates older women. Number three, he argues with women. And number four, he's inconsistent. OK, in his character, not just in his calling you and things like that. But I'm, I'm really focusing on in, in his character. Is he consistent in in different environments? Okay. So my name is Monique Head. I work with single women of faith who are ready for a relationship. And I teach you how to use your feminine allure to attract and communicate with the right man. And then use those same skills to improve other areas of your life. If you want to learn more, you want to become a part of my community, go ahead and click on the link below in the description box. There's a complimentary video series. It's called Be the Woman Who Gets Everything That She Wants, Especially for Men. My name is Monique Head. I'll see you in the next video. Oh, do me a favor. Go ahead and share this, right? Subscribe. Um, and just share this with two women that you know, because when you share, you add value. <laughs> Take care and God bless. Bye.